Hello everyone and welcome back, it's me Department here, I'm so glad you could join me for another video today guys, I'm back in Popping Simulator and today we have another UGC available in the game guys, so this one is pretty awesome as you see it's on right now, it's the shiny star wings right here and they look really cool guys, not even gonna lie, so I'm gonna give you all the tips you need to actually complete all three of the the task to actually claim this right now there's still a lot left to go guys so you got plenty of time to actually do it so let's get started right away guys so what it requires you to do is hatch 10 exotic pets open 100 bags and combine 15 rainbow pets all on your own so that's how you can go ahead hit the button claim it it comes up at zero bow bucks and you should be able to get it if you did all three of those and again here it is right here guys so pop and open my avatar right here we can go ahead and examine it it's the shiny star wings earned by completing quest and popping simulator guys so it is actually really cool and it is actually a limited you item guys so you will have a serial attached to it i believe mine is around number 65 so i'm doing pretty well on that front so let's go ahead and talk about how you could actually get this guy so this is really meant for players of popping simulator and it is going to be a little bit more of a grind than the last crown was that is for sure part of that is the hatching 10 exotics that will take you a while you will need to get some coins of currency and identify the eggs that are best for that so let's talk about that one first since it is the one that's on the very top so the exotics are basically the second best pet in the game not all eggs have them and you will have to walk around and see the ones that have the pinkish color are exotic so like this one right here this is an exotic pet and going over here this one right here is exotic and this is exotic so some of them have more than one exotic and then we have the immortal shiny looking thing right here and that's the one everyone wants to get so the exotics are the second hardest to do there's even auto settings here so you could auto delete anything but exotics so keep that in mind you're gonna have to hatch 10 of them so right away the starting area cheapest exotic is gonna cost 450,000 to open each egg for your chance to get it and it is a low chance to get and then this one back here has one as well so my tip to you is just progress through the game try to get good pets along the way and you'll eventually get to the point where you can just start crushing stuff getting a lot of coins and really it's just a matter of sitting on the egg and actually being able to hatch it it's going to take a little bit of time but i've done it on a free to play character and i was able to do it uh, within a reasonable amount of time to be quite honest with you so there's these eggs in the starting area but you could also go to magma world and what you're going to have to do is actually progress through the spawn world through the magma world and into the latest magic world anyways because that's where the rainbow machine is to make the rainbow pets guys so let's go hop to the magma world which is the second world you will have to grind to and this one has some good opportunities for you to actually hatch the exotic pets in it so let's go walk over here to the eggs and check them out so the very first egg does have one and it's a very cheap egg only 250 magma coins when you get here then there's the volcanic egg which has the shark this one is also cheap at 2.5 thousand then we have the temple egg this only has one it starts to get a little bit more expensive and then the cliffs egg has two it has three in it so technically the cliffs egg is one of the best if not the best egg only because it has three different pets that are exotic for you to farm but it does cost a lot so you're gonna have to grind a lot of magma coins to actually be able to sit on this for an extended amount of time to hatch them so in my opinion the one that has produced the most exotics for me personally has been this volcanic egg i get a lot of the shark ones that's just what i've seen for myself it's cheap so i could farm a few million coins and sit on this for a very long time and actually hatch it guys so what you would want to do is also pop any luck boost that you do have by going to the products in the little shop menu clicking on your boost putting on lucky and egg speed it will just speed up the process you also want to either join a server that has boosts going right some server boost going or go ahead and boost your own and you can do that by using your diamonds in the spawn world to actually do that but if you're a newer player you're probably low on jumps to start with so i would recommend you going back to the roblox screen and finding a new server to jump into because right here the server boosts do cost a bit of gems and this gets more and more expensive so you kind of want to find a server that already has these rolling and that will help you out as well it's another tip for you how to complete that so there's no easy or fast way to hatch the exotics guys it's all about gathering the coins sitting on the egg and just getting lucky I was able to hatch all 10 that I needed within a day on a free to play character. 
So just keep that in mind. Here's the newest world. This one has one exotic and this one has one exotic, but I wouldn't recommend really farming these. Um, you can if you want, because they are pretty cheap and you're going to have to get to this world anyways. So you might want to sit on this one because it's really cheap, get good pots and you'll be able to actually get the exotic pet as well. But the rainbow machine is actually right here in the magic world, guys. So this is what you're going to have to do. Basically, it takes six golds to guarantee a 100% chance to actually get it. And it's going to cost a lot of diamonds as well. So you need to craft 15 goldens and it could be any rarity pet, guys. So that does not matter. So let's go ahead and take a look at the menu here. So I talked about how is how to get the exotic pets, which eggs are kind of the better ones. And ultimately, it's about grinding the coins and just AFKing the eggs, hoping to get 10 of them, guys. So that's what you want to do there. But jump up to the bottom then, since we're here, you can craft 15 rainbow pets. And I just explained where the machine was and that it takes six for 100%. So my recommendation to you is to go back to the spawn world if you want to be on the more affordable side. Now, it doesn't have to be this egg. It could be really just any egg that you could hatch a lot from consistently. So any cheap egg will do, right? For this one, for example, the common egg, it doesn't matter if uh, you have the magic game pass or not. So it makes your life easier if you have the magic game pass because it's going to give you a 5% golden chance to hatch you know the pets every time they come out but for this one for example you could just sit on this and you can hatch these all day long fill up your bag right and they're very cheap pets so you could just get a whole bag of kitties a whole pack of doggies right here and once you do that right you'll, you'll have a whole pack of commons and they'll be the regular version well you could use the golden machine first in the starting area you could stick six of your cats or dogs in here They'll be really cheap to combine to gold, right? You get six goldens from that. Go to the rainbow machine and make it a rainbow. That's going to be the most cost effective way for new players, guys, is to use the cheap pets, use the commons, craft them up because they're cheaper. And that's the best way for you to actually do it, in my opinion, as far as it goes for, you know, saving some diamonds, guys. And the last method here is or the last task is opening 100 bags. That might seem like a lot, guys. But as soon as you start the game, you know, you start getting bags. There's chest right here. The spawn chest every 12 hours is going to give you bags. The game is going to just throw bags at you if you're in the game for free. It's going to give you playtime rewards just while you're playing. There's also two other areas where you can get chests. One is in the aqua zone, which is right here in the spawn. So it's a big, large chest that's available every 24 hours. And I just never remember to claim mine, guys. So let's do it. And you see here, that gave me four right there. And it can be more than four. Uh, it could be more than four. I've seen it before. And the other area is in the magma world in the Inferno Temple. Go ahead and click on that. And again, this is a 24-hour chest, which I have to claim right here. So we're going to go ahead and click this one to see what it gives me. This one also gave me four bags. So that's already eight bags towards the 100 guys on top of the spawn world. So you got that, the playtime rewards. Plus up here, there's playtime gifts that you have to actually collect yourself. And check it out. Just for playing for a few hours, you'll be able to collect all of these. Not only do they give you diamonds, but look at all the bags and potions they give you. This right here is three. That's seven total, 15 bags right here just in collecting these. Plus you get four and plus three potions, seven potions, and a chance at the latest exclusive egg, which is in the shop right here, 2.5% chance. So that's really just how you collect bags. You could also, if you really want, you could go ahead and grind the dungeons. The dungeons are a good way to also get bag drops, but they are time consuming. And every world has a portal to the dungeon right over here, a little dungeon. And some of the rewards in there are bags as well. So we go ahead and jump on the circle. And I can show you right here in the statistics. There's two different dungeons. And as you see, possible loot drops do contain bags and all that stuff. But the final way to get bags, guys, is just leveling yourself up and really getting the awards right here. As you rank up and get new things, you'll rank up and it will throw you bags and you get more and more bags as time goes on. So honestly, the bag one, you don't even have to worry about. By the time you grind into the magic world, collect all the exotics and all the rainbows that you need to do anyways, you would probably most likely already have the bags collected at that time, guys. So that's really my tip to you how to get the new UGC right here, the shiny star wings. They are actually cool. It is a limited U item, which means it might have resell value later on and ultimately it's just really cool and i'm glad to have it as a partner of the game guys so that's it good luck there's still 1500 left more than that so plenty of time for you to get in here 
try out the game and get yourself a limited U item, guys. So I hope this was helpful. Leave in the comment below what you think about these wings. And yeah, that's all I had for today. So thanks for sticking with me. And remember, until next time, stay positive, keep hatching, and have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.